Sometimes you would like to skip a loop iteration for a particular case without breaking out the, the loop entirely. You can do this with the continue statement which immediately ends the current iteration of the loop and starts the next iteration. The continuous statement gives you a higher level of control, letting you decide where and when you want to skip an iteration. So we have seen in the previous video how to make the multiplication, uh, multiplication table in the exercise number two and now we need to make the iteration um, iteration table but we need to skip these lines okay so how to do that we have said that it is a nested loop okay and it is going to uh, make the product and give us and print it the result here we need for skipping the iteration, I told you that we need the continue keyword. So I have deleted the number two and number four rows, which are even. So I'm going to check if the row uh, modulus two, which is checking for the even, and to parity if it is equal to zero use the keyword continue so this continue will make a uh, check for the row is it equal to two which is checking for the parity model is two equal equal to zero so if we divide two over two is one so the remainder will be zero row modulus 2 would be equal equal to 0 when the case equal to 2 when case equal to 4 when case equal to 6 8 and so on okay so this is how we check for the parity and for that we continue otherwise we are going to make this happen okay so let's run and see the program please rate us five stars on udemy to support us making new videos okay so here we come guys so when the first row is printed correctly when we came to the second row which is two so when the row modulus two equal equal to zero, we continue. So we have skipped this iteration. So this will not be executed. It increased row, but didn't increase the column. So and increase and uh, execute this in the uh, row modulus two case. So guys, when to row equal to two or when the row is even we used continue continue will continue making the loop but skipping the current state so when the row modulus two equal equal to zero when there is an even go and skip this whole thing and go up and row now equal to three three modulus two is it equal to zero no so execute this row equal to four row equal to four four modulus two equal equal to zero yes continue so skip all of these and go up put a uh, row equal to five and so on okay so when the row modulus two equal to zero the row is even in this case continue makes the for loop skip to the next row the break statement you saw in the last video used with the while loops also work with the loops for loops and takes you to the next statement after the for loop just like a break the continue keyword works with both for loops and while loops so you can use continue with uh, 
for a uh, for and the while loops okay here we have introduced and learned more about the uh the, the 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 algorithm of the loops and how they works and we have introduced the new keyword called continue okay